Hello, I'm Steve Helms and this is the Helms Family Garden and today we're going to learn how to make a container garden, one that you can grow fresh homegrown vegetables regardless of where you live, whether you're in a city apartment or out in the country. So come on, let's figure out how to put one together. Okay, so it's real simple. All you need is a five gallon bucket from one of your big box lumber stores. You need a pot that will fit inside and go down about uh, two thirds of the way into the five gallon bucket. You need some vegetables that you want to plant. Uh, one inch or so PVC pipe. Then you need the tools to put it together, uh, whether it's a, a utility knife or a drill with hole saws. Uh, you need something to cut the pipe. You can use a hacksaw. And you also need a large cup because you're going to need some wicking action and you'll need some potting soil. Now don't get garden soil. Make sure it's potting soil because that will be the best for wicking and will provide you the best results. And if you get one that has some fertilizer in it, you don't have to worry about fertilizing the first batch. Although if you reuse the soil, you'll want to put new fertilizer in for each planting. First step you're going to do is you're going to put your potting pot inside your bucket. Then you want to take a few measurements. You want to find out what the overall length of the pot is. Then you want to measure how deep it goes down. And then you need to mark this because you're going to create a couple of wheat poles because that's the highest water level that you want to get in so it doesn't drown your roots. So once you've established your wheat pole, you'll take a quarter inch, three eighths hole and I always like to put a, a couple. Now, one of the things I haven't experienced any problems with yet, but I'm concerned about, is standing water for mosquitoes. And so I like to keep that uh, small and make it difficult for anything to get in there. If you make your hole too big, you might want to put some screen or some kind of mesh to keep bugs from getting in there. Okay, then your pot, the poles you're going to put in is one for your PVC pipe because that's going to be used as your fill. And that will be an inch and an eighth. And you're also going to take a cup of some kind and that's going to fit inside. And, you're, and that's going to create wicking action that's going to allow the water that sits in the bottom bucket to wick up and automatically water all of your plants. So what you need to do to create this is you just drill a bunch of holes. Now some people use um, a pot that's made for hydroponics. I found this works just as good. And so you'll need two holes. Again, one for your PVC pipe and you'll need one for your bucket, for your cup. And so I've already drilled these using a hole saw of various sizes, an inch and an eighth. And this one, uh, I think is four inches. Uh, but whatever your cup, now you also, one other thing is, you wanna make sure that your cup goes down to the bottom. Okay, so what you want to do is figure out the length of your PVC pipe. And there you have your fill tube. Next, all you have to do is put some potting soil. And I kind of try to make sure that there's no air in the cup. You want to keep your pipe against the wall. Now on my first one, I put in some tomato, a tomato plant and some herbs. But on this plant, this pot, I've decided actually make some root crops. And so 
I'm putting in some cucumbers and I think they're going to fit just nicely and I might even put a few pansies just to give it a little color. Now one thing you want to do is make sure that you get these things watered pretty quick because this is extremely dry soil and I like to break up the roots just a little bit. Now the first time I water them, I water them like you would any other normal plant to make sure I get the potting soil completely soaked. And you don't have to worry about overwatering because the weep holes that you first put in will allow any excess moisture to just spill over and spill out onto the ground. Subsequent waterings, you're just going to use a hose or your water and fill straight into the reservoir below. And the wicking cup will bring up any necessary amount of moisture that your plants will need. Quick side note, I didn't have a second cup, so I thought, what else can I use for my wicking action? And I thought, well, I'll just use some screen material that I have lying around the house. So I'm going to take this, and then I'll cut the excess off, and then we'll see how that works. Now to keep it from falling in, I just have some simple lath screws. And just cut off the excess where the uh, Where the PVC pipe is going to go. Well I'm Steve Helms and this is the Helms Family Garden for an edition on container gardening. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something, I hope you try it out because whether you've got a, a garden that you can use these are just fun to do, easy to do. You know what, summer's the time you're going to take a vacation. This is a simple garden you can be gone for a week and you don't have to worry about it getting overwatered or underwatered because it perfectly will wick up just the right amount for each plant. So have a great day and thanks for watching.